Well, here we go. The Bazinga of all Bazingas. The normal distribution. Problems that we solve in Excel. Every undergraduate statistics class has the normal distribution. As a matter of fact, I think it's the most important distribution that you will look at. I'm about to blow you away. I'm about to save your life. I'm about to show you the bazinga of all bazingas. I've been working on this for a while, so hopefully you will appreciate this. I will be using my normal distribution calculator, which is available at the Stat Cave at the bottom of the post with these videos, where I remind you that I do these out of the goodness of my heart while my dog watches in awe. It's good to have a dog because dogs love you no matter what. First, let me tell you this. This is very, very, very important. The normal distribution is a continuous distribution, not a discrete distribution. We looked at the binomial, the Poisson, the geometric, where we had discrete distributions, and we worried about the less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than, and equal to. With the normal distribution, it's like cutting jello. With the normal distribution, we can only find less than, greater than, or the probability between two values. I will explain this to you as we go along. Statistics textbooks always have a wonderful standard normal distribution table in them, usually in the appendix with z-scores and probabilities and all kinds of instructions on how to find the probability to the left, how to find the probability to the right, what you've got to subtract to get the probability in the middle, all kinds of rules that generally get you mixed up. I have been sent to save you. Let's look at an example problem. First of all, a z-score problem. We can do this with my magical calculator. Find the area between a z-score of 0 and a z-score of 1.3. First of all, when we are dealing with z-scores, we are dealing with the standard normal distribution. That has a mean of 0, so I input a 0, which is already there. A standard deviation of 1, which is already there, but let's put it in, hit the Enter button. I want to know the area between a z-score of 0 and a z-score of 1.3. I've got three little purple areas up here. Consider this purple jello. This one tells me the probability to the left. This one tells me the probability to the right. This one tells me the probability between two values. So I'm going to input a 0 and I'm going to input a 1.3 bazinga the area between a z-score of 0 and a z-score of 1.3 or the probability is 0 0.4032. Now these little cartoons, they do not change. I've got a little note here. They do not change they are just images, but when I'm dealing with z-scores, I put in a mean of 0, a standard deviation of 1. What about this one? Find the area. Oh, I said R. It should be area. Find the area to the left of a z-score of 0.53. We can do to the left of a z-score of 0. 0.53. Notice this is where my purple jello is to the left. I hit the enter button. The probability that it's to a left of a z-score of 0.53 is 0.7019. Nailed it! 
At this point, I want you to go outside and yell, Bazinga, Bazinga, Bazinga. In my next video, we're going to work another normal distribution problem.